All right, it's decorating and doing the pages time. I pulled out a bunch of scraps that occurred when we cut the pages, the paper to make the pages. I'm gonna take two of these that are the same size. I'm gonna mark one of them. Remember, this is where your, your hinge, so I'm thinking that. Although with a square album, if we did it backwards, right, it'd go this way, not the end of the world. <laughs> That's what's kind of fun about this. So I'm gonna come down just a hair from the top. That's just the way I like to do it. And I'm gonna mark it down in there. And I'm gonna take the two of them together and cut them at the same side, same mark. And we'll have two flaps on one page. So there's those marks on that side. More scrap. And where is my mark? Oh, we only marked one side. Okay, yeah, because we only need to do the length. All right, so bring in the scoreboard and we'll score them on this ruffledy side where, where I cut it. That's the side I'm gonna score on. So half an inch, so if that's at um, four and three quarters, I'm gonna go back to four and a quarter and score. So basically a half inch on one side, fold that back. Yeah, it's also ruffledy up there, I can fix that. And do a half inch on this one as well. Do it on this side. Right, so let me get rid of this and we will burnish really well. Put that nice and flat. And then I'm gonna take my little sanding block and get this in the, at the nail salon and get them off of, um, at, off of Amazon. And I'm just looking at those little furry guys. I'm gonna erase my mark. Bring in page, and we'll just put these on. So just using an art glitter glue, openings to the side, just bring it over here to the edge, center it on the page, burnish check for glue. <laughs> I always check for glue. I've had these things glued down before. So we'll take this one, put glue on it. This is what I think is the fun of mini albums. Just take your scraps, no matter what size they are, and just find a way to fold a half an inch and put it somewhere. So I'm going to mark, measure this up. I want it to match top and bottom of this one, right? Just being careful and burnish down. Okay, so we'll probably leave that one there. I've told you in previous videos that if you had it this way, that would flop open, or I can do it this way and put magnets, we'll see. But let's turn over to the back and find another scrap and do something. Um, let's see if I have a bigger, wider scrap. I do. We'll fold half an inch on the top of that and then we'll adjust for the height. Let's burnish it really well. Pencil, put that in the middle. We still have our openings to the side. And mark it. I mean to cut off that pencil mark, but I don't think I see it very well. <laughs> Where's my eraser and all this mess? Yeah, I really do need to change my blade. These are all, see them? It doesn't really take them off. You can also take your scissors. I don't know if you can see them. See how they are? Take your scissors and just kind of Cut at the edge from underneath. You're not cutting the paper, but you're getting rid of those. That's just ways to extend your blade if you're a cheapskate like me. <laughs> okay, 
So we'll just put this one at the top. And one page is done. Okay, so there's one page done. Put it over there, bring in our second page. Refer to our scraps again, make sure opening to the side. Let's take one of, let's see, not long enough, a skinnier one. Okay, bring in your scoreboard and half an inch, fold, bring in the page, put it up in there, mark down in here, that's where I'm going to score again, put it over there at the edge, Actually, put that mark into a, a, where you can score and maybe get rid of it, but I don't think I did. Uh, let me cut this down to a half an inch, right? Just guesstimate in there. About a half an inch away. Fold. Yeah, I'm going to have to erase just a little bit. Okay, and we'll just make a nice wide belly band. And that way, I like the wider belly band. You can put a picture or something on here, right? We could also layer this up and put another layer on top of it, which I might do for, you know, added pictures, journaling, whatever. Should have burnished, I didn't really. Oh, we'll want to get it on here. Get to the side. my tool and really burnish that well because I didn't really before I put it on there and this will be fun to put photo mats and things under right so let's find another is this the same width no that's wider this one is the same width I'm just thinking and going here I'm gonna score another half an inch oops turn the paper not the scoreboard Fold. Bring in page. And let's just mark it a little bit shorter so that you know it's a flap. And we'll just cut it off. You could, if you had a pretty die in the time, cut the bottom with a border die, which would be really pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna put glue on that. And stick it right in the middle, or right on top, right at the same edge. Perfect. Okay, so that gives us a belly band, but also a flap, right? Kind of like that. All right, so something for this page. All right, I brought in both pages. This is the one we just did with the belly band, and this is the third page with nothing on it. Set them side by side, because sometimes it's nice to mirror. Um, and so I've got these two long pieces, right? And I think I'll put one, and, and that way they'll both, you know, so I'm going to just score for the length, or mark for the length with my pencil and cut them both because that will work. Just two. I'm going to use this cutter so I don't get those fluffies. And where's my mark? It's on that page. <laughs> Cut that off. Bring in scoreboard. And we'll score half inch on the long side. I turn it around and score out in here. It's just easier than being in that cramped corner. It's 
five inches wide, so I'll just score it four and a half. Okay, same for this one. Burnish those really well. One for that side, one for that side. That. So just on with a little glue. So right there to, on the left side, and we'll put this one on the right side and they'll be mirrored. Okay, just burnish down, go back in, look for glue. And so that, those pages will do like that. We'll either magnet or find something cute. So that finishes the second page. I need to do something on the back page. And I think that's the one I miss, came off my score mark. It's got that, but that will get covered up with pattern paper. Um, I think I'll do a waterfall on this. So let me cut some papers. Okay, paper is cut. It is four inches wide, four and a half inches long, scored a half inch on the side to get these four pieces that's gonna make our waterfall. I also have a piece of four inch wide right here. I always build my waterfall on a base. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm like a crisp, clean video, uh, a crisp and clean waterfall and I figured out a way to make that happen. So this is just how I do it. I don't know how all those other crafters do it with ease but I struggle but I've learned a way to compensate so with this being four inches you can pretty much be sure your first one's right right that it's even around on all sides the second one do new I say pretty inside and go for this edge right this sideways edge More important that it's be pretty and even in here because I can fix the sides. I can't fix in here. So one more, pretty inside, push it up there, butt it against that one, check my side, push down, and one more. Pretty inside, check your side. Maybe this one's gonna be the first one I've done straight. I don't think it will be. No, to me, it's off over here. I don't know if you can see that. That one's shorter, that one's longer. Not gonna stress about it. Um, also, be, with that longer, we can make that our, if it will fit on our page, I don't know that it will. We could cut it and make it be a waterfall as well. No, we're just gonna have to whack it off. It won't fit. No, it'd be the full length. So I'm just gonna cut it right here. Right at the bottom using that last one as my guide. Okay, so that will fit on there nicely. But before I put it on there, I'm gonna cut off that messed up edge. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife, bring in my ruler. Just, you're just taking off, just measure top to bottom. You're taking off just a little tiny bit. This is an old blade. You don't have to take this many passes if you have a new blade, but just keep your ruler tight and repeated, even light pressure. You don't need to go crazy. It's the hardest to cut through right on those sides where the glue is, but look at there. That's what you took off, and now you have a lovely, lovely waterfall. I'm gonna do the same over here. Take off even less, because this side is not as bad.
and hear it rippling across those where it's glued. Almost off. One more. There. No, I, I have. I need a new blade. Is what I need. Is what I need. Let me get that last little bit off of there. Don't stick. Yeah, I need a new blade badly. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect waterfall. And scant little stuff. With a new blade, it'd have been even easier, but. Like the blade in my cutter, I don't, I don't change blades. Is you know if I can, I get it all I can get out of it. All right, so that will fit on there beautifully. I'm gonna paper clip it on uh, wherever my paper clips are. I'll find that because I want to put my pattern paper down first, right before I put this down. So that completes our pages. Now let's start decorating. Okay, I pulled out some decorative paper and I pulled out some magnets. I am gonna put magnets on that so, so it can close that way so i need my score tape and to peel those magnets apart okay you go to your separate corners so this this these are not sticky so you have to put some sticky on them i'm going to need two more i am just not good with numbers so put that one on your score tape and bring it over you want to leave it you want to come down at a good half inch three quarter on both directions so you can get your pattern paper down so i'm going to put it like that Push it down with your score tape. Let that one find where it's supposed to go. I'm gonna have to do this again down here so I'm gonna need two more magnets. Cut you a piece of tape for this one. Pick it up, lay it on the sticky side, and let it find again. Okay, I am gonna cut that tape. I think it's a little bit long. scissors okay so that will transfer over to here let me grab two more uh, magnets okay two <laughs> two more pieces of tape two more magnets so I'm gonna put the tape on the back of the first magnet and just put it down let this one find turn this piece of tape up let it find again Boy, that didn't really land in the middle of my tape. Let me take it off. <laughs> Get my tape situated. There. It's better. Okay, now push this down, bring this over, and push down your paper. Push down your tapes, right? And your magnets will have adhered over here. Push down those tapes really, really well. And then when we put on the pattern paper, it'll cover that up. All right, I'm going to cut these three. I decided the flowers, which is, whew, it's a lot of flowers to be on the back, and these two to be on the sides. So let me cut and mark. I won't make you watch that, and I'll put it together. Okay, I cut my papers. This is not near so bad when you cut it down. That was a lot of color. But I'm going to put this one down first on the inside, and I ended up cutting, I always forget about the back sides. And when you mat, um, you don't really have to use pattern paper. You can go with your matting, but since I didn't, I don't want to go with just white. So make sure, is anything on here? No. Anything on the back? Yes, that flap. We want to make sure our direction is right. We don't want our flowers upside down. Okay, so just put that in there. And then I cut double papers. I'll put, you know, I could put um, the same insides. Uh, this is where I always, you know, struggle. I think I will. I'll go ahead and put that there. I may need to trim those down just a hair. I cut, it though, cut those without marking. So I do like that. And it does fit, so let me erase my marks. And put that one down. Perfect. 
opener up. We'll take these tapes off. We should have checked this for size. It's gonna fit. Take a glue on the back here. A little spot of glue on the back of those magnets, which I don't really know what I did. Since I had, it's the one when you put them down, you should do that, not when you're, but it helps you move your paper just in case you're off a little bit. Okay, put that down. So now that will look like that, and we'll open this up and put these in here. Let me double check them for size. They will work. It's hard to see on the white, that's why, and I didn't matte. It makes it harder on my eyes. I usually, I think this is the first album that I haven't matted in a long time. Long, long time. Okay. And we'll take these off. And put glue on this. And yes, yeah, so I'm definitely going to put a whole thing of glue. Just helps you move your paper as you're trying to get it situated in there without it sticking to that glue first or the the uh, tape, you know. Okay, so that is down. So there's our first decorated page. Of course, we'll come back, put some cutesies around probably. Um, find something for that. Okay, I think I'll just put on music and let you watch me do this. I cut papers to fit and I'm just gonna glue them down. Nothing special. Okay, update. I had to stop filming yesterday, but this is the finished album, and this is the way I've finished out the pages so far. Um, I think I took you through some of this. That'll be page one. Turn it over. Flip that up. I added this this morning. A couple of flowers just glued down. Um, this, this came out of this piece of paper, all these little tags. So I just fussy cut, added a couple of flowers, put it on with a brad. That's our belly band, so you can lift that up. I need to cover that. And then I made two just very simple um, journaling cards to go inside. You can journal, add pictures, or whatever. But I will probably put just some, I don't know, but i got to cover that up. So when you flip it over, these are our, okay, stay down. <laughs> these are our mirrored pages, right? So... I'm gonna leave that as is for now. I did put the waterfall on and I did cover it with, I did do a magnet, but you see me do this in other videos. So if you're concerned about that, all I did was put the magnet, where to put the magnet? I glued this thing on and I think I stuck the magnet here and I stuck a magnet in here. No, I stuck the magnet on there before I covered that paper, that's what I did. And then just stuck a scrap underneath the whole thing and did it like that. So that's our last 
Okay, no, no, I'm out of order. All right, let me get these in order and then we'll put them in the book. Okay, you see me put uh, pages in books before, but I'll do it in case anyone hasn't. So this is half inch score tape. I'm gonna put it at the very top of my hinge. And you want it at the very top. This is what I was thinking about the other day when I was doing this, putting it at the top. It needs to be at the top because your page is gonna go in here and you don't wanna go all the way to the bottom. You've gotta leave it a little ways up and so you don't want your tape to be in the way. So you need to do it on both sides. So let me do all three of these pages and then we'll put our pages in. Okay, when you get your tapes on, really burnish them down good. Mostly, I mean, you eat it down there good, but mostly it helps you when you've got to remove the tape. And you're going to have to hunt in there on the back side to find this, so it needs to be needs to release easily. Okay, so make sure you have your pages in the correct order. I went back through mine and reordered them. So, <laughs> first thing I like to do is take page one and just do a dry fit. I know it's going to fit. We already tried this, but it's always good just to sort of get a feel for where you want to go. You want to bring it down um, close to the, about about there. You can see I've got like, it's probably the same um, as your, your eighth to a quarter. Um, so let me find my pokey tool. I'm going to take my tape back just enough so that I have a grabber right here, right? Now watch your flaps and stuff. Sometimes they get in the way of other, of your hinges and stuff and get you messed up. But your tape is exposed, so. Okay, I've got a hinge. <laughs> I, I mean, my flap is hitting the hinge. I know what, I've been through this. I'm gonna hold it back. Get that in there, come on. This is not that hard. Okay, now we're on. So now just go down in there, make sure your line is straight here. When you feel good, just push it down. Okay, just push that down, pull your tape. Don't hold this too tight that you can't pull your tape. All right, just pull it out. Okay, that one's in. Now let's go to the back side. It's in a little bit crooked. Every one is different. It's very hard to get it all perfectly straight. So I found that piece of tape, pull it out. There you go, and push that down. Okay, our second page, we'll just, we'll just do them all. They do get easier. I just haven't done an album in a while. <laughs> but I am gonna be making a baby album soon. That's probably my next project. So this was a good warm up. Okay, get it in there. Sorry if my head gets in the way. My hairs. Okay, just push it down. It is a very soupy day outside, but we're gonna hopefully fly out of here <laughs> later. I'm gonna see my dad. He's 91 years old. I'm excited about that. And I will take the papers with me or cut down some to add maybe a little something on these pages that are otherwise kind of boring. And then I will show you a follow, you know, a walkthrough when it's completely done. Okay, let's go in here and hunt for that. Okay. They're in there. I still need to do something here. Probably a pocket, something similar to um, what I did on the front. But there we go. Just needs a little character added in. Um, probably another photo mat so that these stay in there a little tighter. Um, those are the kind of things I think about. Maybe make that brad tighter because that's flip. I want it to flip around so you can add a picture, right? But I don't want it all that floppy. I did make two um, little photo mat thingies. This one flips up and this one flips out. This is from the paper pack. I'm gonna stick those in the um, uh, pocket. But these are the, uh, the cut aparts that are in the album. So I'm gonna cut these apart, take them with me, and finish this out when we land, wherever we're landing. But anyway, it's turning out pretty cute. 
and I look forward to finish it and I will do a walkthrough with you when it's done. All right guys, thank you for watching and you guys have a blessed day.